Hey, Coyote Nation, happy Wednesday to you, and happy July 4th to you as we celebrate America's birthday. It's only the third, of course, but uh, we're not going to be doing a video tomorrow, so Jason, we might as well just wish them a happy 4th of July right now. Yeah, I'll be in no shape for a video tomorrow anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, were, you, you called me the other day, you said, I'm going to come visit you, and then you never showed up. What happened there? Man, we lost track of time. Oh, you know okay. what happens? You get there on the water. Yeah. You get lost, man. Yeah. And the next thing you know, it's seven o'clock. I know it's that feeling. Eat. That's for sure <laughs> and for certain. Man, it is beautiful in the Ozarks. Although, you know, there is rain in the forecast over the next few days. So. No, man, it don't rain around here. Ho Always sunshine. Hopefully that won't cause yeah. any major issues. So do be safe and uh, careful over the 4th oh, of July. Please, everybody. You know, absolutely, uh, because we don't want to lose any of you. Uh, but do have a good time. We're certainly going to be having a great time as well. So, as you can see, we've got our uh, Kansas City Chiefs super fan, Jason Stapleton, with us today. He is also our Director of Business Developments at 107.9 The Coyote, which means his job, and he's an expert at it, is to <laughs> help businesses in Coyote Nation get more business, right? That's, That's right. basically what it boils down to. With a... Shout out to all you local family owned businesses, which I have a very, very deep soft spot for. I love contributing to you guys. Please uh, need some help getting your word and your name out there. Uh, please give me a call and let me go to work for you. Absolutely. And Jason is responsible uh, to a large degree, along with Casey and the round man of, uh, of all the, uh, you know, all these uh, renegade radio sports updates that we do. Right around 6, uh, 35 past the hour from 6.35 in the morning to 6.35 in the That's evening. Right. They're sponsored uh, or we wouldn't be able to do them for right. you or we wouldn't be able to do these videos to, for you or go to the College World Series and all that stuff. But th we have sponsors and Jason is largely responsible for that. Um, well, it, it helps that you got fantastic content. I mean, this guy right here, everybody, you don't know how blessed we are to have him here at the Lake of the Ozarks. Chris Schneider brings a just... he. You, they're fantastic, Chris. They're we have great. Fun, the don't breaks. We? Yeah. I mean, I I know they're coming. I sometimes hear you record them, and every single time I hear them, they're always entertaining and informative. I love them. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a lot of fun. Everybody at the Coyote has a great time doing what they do. I think, and that's, that's true. why we're true, so true, successful. True, true. I mean, we are the number one radio station at the Lake of the Ozarks, Uno. Um, and I think really the main reason that is, Jason, is because everybody enjoys what they're doing. I mean, we do. you enjoy working yeah. with businesses and, and helping yeah, them out. I love sports. Casey and the Round Man, you know, they love doing that talk show. Yeah, they'd be, they'd be playing on the radio. Having Casey such and a Round good time. Man. You know, I was, I, you know, every time I listen to them, I just, I can't help myself but just to smile, you know, because they're just having so much fun. And uh, so you got to check them out if you haven't yet. If, if you have, you already know they're the best show in the Ozarks. Come on. Three to six in the afternoon, uh, Casey and the Round Man, absolutely. And uh, the Round Man was on the show here yesterday with his Cardinals jersey. Did you see yeah, that? I did. He's a big Cardinals fan, yeah. no doubt about that. Uh, so, okay, now Jason here is our Kansas City Chiefs super fan. Let's talk Chiefs. And uh, we call him our super fan because that's exactly what he is. I mean, he lives, breathes. Kansas City Chiefs. He's not lying. Right. He's not lying. He loves it. You know what? We're just three weeks away now. I know, man. From today. I got gooseies. Three weeks in a day <laughs> until uh, the Chiefs show up to training camp in St. Joe. I know. We're already in it. Well, this is football season. We're in football season right now. Y'all make no mistake about it. Best time of year. I love this lead in to football season almost more than I like the actual the start of football season because all the anticipation is building up. We got a lot of reasons to be excited about this season as Chiefs fans. And so, yeah, man, I'm chomping at the bit. Let's go. Okay, so what are all of these reasons to be so excited for the about the Chiefs? Well, season? clearly, Patrick Mahomes coming into his third year, second year as a starter. Uh, his He's just a great student of the game. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how he has progressed uh, from, a, from a mature standpoint down to a techni technical standpoint with his footwork and his reads. Looking forward to that and seeing that progression because that's just going to elevate our team. And then you got the Travis Kelsey, he's back full throttle. We got a Damian Williams as a running back that shined very bright for us at the end of last season. Looking forward to seeing what kind of juice he has in his tank for this year. And then, then the Tyreek Hill, all that hoopla all summer long. 
he's back. He ain't going nowhere. He's remaining the chief. I know that here before too long, uh, contract uh, negotiations will begin to get underway for Tyreek Hill. He may be suspended for a couple games, maybe four to the most, but he's back. But then Sammy Watkins is fully healthy too. I'm going to keep going. Sammy Watkins is fully healthy. And he was injured most of the year last year. And when he went down last year, we felt it in our offense because there was nobody else to really fill that void that Sammy Watkins brings. He is back. And then Byron Pringle is another person that a lot of people know about, but he shined just a few moments last year, but they've, but he was injured. He was injured for the most of the part of the season, and the coaches got a really, really, really high on this guy, and he's back. And so we got a lot of speed, we got some experience. Our defense is revamped. Frank Clark, right? The Honey Badger. I mean, get out of town. Daniel Sorensen's going to come back. I'm a big Daniel Sorensen guy. Still going. Daniel Sorensen's a blast to watch play. He's a ball hawk. He's going to be staying with the team. Like I can just keep. Okay, I'll stop now. No, I mean no, this man. is great. This we is, got a show to do. I just this is about fantastic. Me. Uh, you know, it's it's the and so now you know why we call him our Kansas City <laughs> Chief Super Fan. Uh, okay, but that's fantastic. That's wonderful. That's <laughs> that's why we're here uh, uh, because I mean the majority of of. NFL fans in Coyote Nation are Chief fans, right? So, uh, so we want to keep you up you to date. You think on the they are? Um, I seen a New England Patriots hat you the went, other day. I didn't know what that was about. What is that about? Yeah, come on, get out of town. Um, <laughs> so you went to Chiefs uh, their, mini their mini camp, I yeah, uh, the mandatory mini camp, and uh, Patrick, you and Patrick Mahomes got close there. I mean, he just kept looking at you over there in the well, press room and everything. You know, the press room there was like eight people in this press room and then there's maybe like five or six camera people right and they all know each other but no one knew who i was and here i am sitting there with the coyote logo shirt and uh, andy reed and patrick mahomes both that's exactly it and we're behind the podium and they're overlooking the press as they're asking questions and they keep going back to this other guy sitting here and i was on the front row by the way because go big or go home Cause you demand yeah, i'm gonna sit right up front like i belong there and uh yeah we kept making eye contact it got weird there a couple moments but uh i didn't break it was a bromance he broke he <laughs> broke not me i told myself jason don't you dare look away <laughs> anyway okay awesome. so that's all coming up i mean the chiefs head to training camp july 26th three weeks away from today so uh our... and that's when it gets serious everybody that's full pads that's full contact yeah Come on, I, you know, this, and you should go. The training camp, people don't know and realize, just three hours away from us. St. Joe, Joe, north of yep. Kansas City. And it, you can go, you can stand by the ropes, you can watch practice. They have days where the players will hang out and sign autographs. That's a good opportunity to really get up close with the players. I encourage every Chiefs fan to try to make in their schedule. And you're going. Training camp. I mean, I will be there. I'll meet you at the ropes. You're going for 107.9 The Coyote. Yeah, that's right. Me and yeah. Patrick Mahomes are gonna we're gonna have another we're gonna have another thing. Another bromance going yeah, on there. Yeah. Hey, how about that? All right. Okay. So uh, <laughs> the great, and we've got some other great things coming up for you on 107.9 the coyote as football season approaches too that's right um, and i think jason's going to be telling us all about that as we get closer we're not ready to talk about that no yet, we're not right? okay. although i really really want to okay cool but I can't. so uh before we go on this day in sports history all right july 3rd on this day in 1939 it was lou gehrig day yankee stadium uh you've seen um his greatest uh, uh or the Luckiest man speech. Yes. I'm the luckiest, yeah. luckiest, luckiest man, 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 man. On the face of the earth. So earth, earth. Good. That was on this day in sports history in 1939. And the quote of the day is from golfer Bobby Jones. Do you golf? Yeah, I mean, I'll golf. I'm terrible at it. Uh, I have a golf I'm a better for a long drinker time. than I'm a golfer. <laughs> so here's the quote of the day from Bobby Jones. He says, You'll love this. Competitive sports are played mainly on a five and a half inch court. The space between your ears. Man, that is good, isn't it? That is true. So true. Probably my favorite quote I've you've read, I think, on that, these videos. That is awesome. Competitive really? sports are played mainly on a five and a half inch court. The space between your ears. Powerful That's stuff. Cool. Yes, Hope is. you're listening, Coyote Nation. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. We'll be taking July 4th off and 5th off. Uh, so we'll be joining you again next Monday with our videos. God bless America, God by the way, God bless too. America. Right. Right. Amen. That's right. Forget Colin Kaepernick. Kaepernick. Kaepernick, some kind of ick. Probably best if I don't speak. <laughs> if you got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. That's right.
That's what our mama taught us, right? Yeah, mama's a good lady. Until then, <laughs> God bless you.